We're at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. And I came up here on their parking structure so that I could point out that peak right there and that one there and that one there. This whole area at one time was volcanic. They say it was a bunch of years ago, but these are supposed to be like volcanic plugs. And we're gonna go down and see another real famous volcanic plug in Morro Bay that's associated to these. And well, let's go right now. What do you think? I think that's beautiful. And we could just stay in Morro Bay. I love it. Oh Morro yeah, Bay. we switched hotels. Yeah. I'm watching a hawk hunting right now. I just watched it dive down in the water and grab a big fish and it scarfed it down right as it got up in the air. Now it's looking for another one. Anyways, when we were in San Luis, right. up on top of that, I kept telling you about those those uh, buttes, those, yeah. those, you I kept calling them plugs. Yeah, plugs. Well, because I know this one's a plug. Okay. All right. Now, where we were, it was about, <clears throat> yeah, remember that big mountain? Yes, I do. Okay, remember I kept showing you the other ones that led up to it? Uh -huh. There's like three of these. And from what I understand, I don't know how it worked, but this one, this one is a volcanic plug. And I guess we're in the middle of an ancient volcano right here. Well, if that's a volcanic plug. That's cool. But that's what plugged the lava flow right there. And I guess those were places where it was going to erupt also. I don't, I don't know what it looked like. So it was that big that the plug is that big? Yeah, isn't that weird? Wow. It's way bigger than say volcano. We're gonna go over by there. They're bigger than what you think. Okay, I got a story for you. Alright. This is Cayucas Bay. Right. And my father and mother and I rented these this old World War One wooden landing craft that had a motor. Like a boat. Like a boat. And well we used it as a boat and we would go out into this Cayucas Bay. We'd go all the way over to that point, way over there, and then we would, he would cut the motor and we would float back this way. Okay, well there came a point <clears throat> where you passed over this one area of rockfish and we were running, we were running six jigs. You have six jigs. You have a weight at the bottom and then you have six feather jigs every two feet. Well, you go all the way down to the bottom and the rock cod see those jigs and they come and grab them. Uh -huh. And then you, you reel, reel them up. up. Okay? But they're down so deep that when they come up, these rockfish, their eyes bulge out. Oh, wow. You know, from the pressure. Wow. And uh, you, when you pull up, you've got six rockfish that are, oh gosh, anywhere between 18 to 24 inches long. Wow. Or longer. Those are big. Yeah, they also, uh, we also got lingcod, but the funny thing is, my dad wanted to fish. That was his big thing. Yes, always. Well, he would help my mother and I get our rigs in the water, and then he'd just start getting his rigged up, and we would have a stringer of fish, each of us. And I wasn't touching the rockfish, because they were, they were, oh God, they were mean looking. And so my dad would have to do it. Oh my goodness. And then he'd just get, get mine crashing. off, and then he'd have to do my mom's, do you ever get the chance to fish and stuff? And, and that's 12 rockfish right there. Okay. Wow. That's All a right. Lot. And so then, then we would go back down again and he'd just get his line down and we'd come up with six more. <laughs> oh my gosh. 12 dad. more. Poor dad didn't even get a chance to fish. No. And uh, well, it got to the point where we would drift all the way over to this side and then he'd have to fire up the boat and travel back over to the other side. No. And then we would do the whole thing oh, over again. catch more, you mean? On those trips, and there were several of them that we did out here, we would bring in two to three big gunny sacks full of rockfish and lingcod. And what would you do with all that fish? Uh, we'd 
put it in the freezer and it would it. last. Yeah. Huh. Well, in the freezer. Yeah. Well, they ate a lot of fish. But you're way out here, though. Yeah, and the turk, uh, the the lingcod, they are uh, turquoise meat. Turquoise meat. What's so that? the it the color turquoise. The meat is a color turquoise. Color turquoise, just like the color that uh, was on that emu's head. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. So this is Cayucas Bay. And this is what I was talking about. This is where my we would rent the skiff over here and we would come out here. And this is very deep water out here and it is a forest of kelp bed and there are fish galore in here. Fishman's paradise, definitely. See Morro Rock over there? That's the plug in the volcano. Now, how big that volcano was, I have no clue. But that's where we were just sat right there. Right. Big rock. There's one right there. See the nest? Where? Right there. Mama's still sitting up there. What a canyon up the side of this rock. That would be a great climb. Oh, there it is. The nest is up there. Uh huh. Oh, that's cool how they do nests up in there. I said that's super cool. Yeah. We can make our Tammy, own rock totem. Tammy's getting a kick out of rock totems. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, see the rock totem? Yeah, There's one. nothing special about that rock totem, is no, there? No. All the ones over here. <laughs> but look, at, look at all of these. It's a sea of rock totems. That's a good one. This is a good one right here, Tammy. That one's a good one there too. Man, they're just everywhere. We can build one right on top of this rock right here. That bay looks beautiful. Moral Bay. Yeah, it just makes sense. You build rock totems next to this big rock plug. Good gosh, look at that boulder up on top. Two of them ready to fall. There's two huge ones right there. You gotta do better than that. This is like one big Jenga game to me. I'm scared if I touch anything, it's gonna start a domino effect, just knocking everything down. Yeah, play Jenga with me. My grandson found out really quick. Oh yeah, you're bad. I'm bad. The first one he pulled out, yeah, he does. He went down. How's that? Pretty rocky, honey. It is very rocky. It doesn't look like a totem, it looks more like a... Rock pile. A rock pile. Well, how am I supposed to do a totem? <laughs> you gotta balance. It takes a lot of balance, look at that. They did such a good job. I know. Well, if we didn't have all these important things to do today, we'd have to stay here and do this. No, I want to do one. I don't care if it's ugly. We're just going to leave it.
do Tammy's creation. Wait. Okay. At least get one rock to balance. You gotta balance I'm at least one it. rock. There. There you go. Now balance that one on top of it. There. Now do a couple others. Alright. I need flat rocks then, right? You just need rocks. Okay, where are you at, flat rocks? Where are the flat rocks? I don't know. I have them. You don't want to get your hands dirty, so I'll nope. do it. Not getting my hands dirty. That's alright. There. Perfect. That's why I'm leaving it, unless you can put something on the top. That's Tammy's rock totem. It needs something on the top. It needs... It needs something balancing. Like that right, that right there, There's some little rocks. and then that right there. Don't do it too high, it's gonna fall. Well, that's the thing, you that's how you stay. get it. Yeah, okay, it's gonna good. stay. Okay, here, there you go. Can't lose rock totem. Let me see. Yeah, exactly. Okay, picture right by it. Wait. You just knocked somebody's rock totem down. My rock totem. Look at that. If Boy, you can, see those, chance, you can see those boulders better here, huh? Yeah. Look at that one. That's ready to fall. If you ever get a chance, you guys got to come here. It's totally cool. Even yeah. though I knocked on an accidental totem, I made one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This beach is beautiful here. Very. It's right at the harbor mouth. It's very calm. That is one big rock. I love it. Yeah. Clamming chips, fish and chips. You won't even eat the fry. Driving the birds nuts. <laughs> so, you guys are gonna be the rock stars. Ready? Oh yeah! 